Hey guys, how's it going? I've got another game for you. This game is called Sock Balls. For this, you'll need four cans, like this. Or if you don't have any cans, you can use something else that's heavy. Let's say a water bottle, for example. And you'll need some socks, of course. Now you'll be rolling these socks, so you need to make them into balls. Now, to make them into balls, you need to put them side by side. Grab one of the openings from one of the socks, and you want to turn it inside out. So it swallows the other sock. So it looks like this. Now it'll be really easy to roll. And this is optional, but you can also use a small toy, like a Pokeball, or just another sock that's a different color, like this yellow one here. So if you're versing someone, you'll need two sets of different colors. So one player might be using white socks, and the other player might be using black and white socks, so you don't get it mixed up. So. Let me show you how to play this game. To set the game up, get your four cans or anything heavy and then make a square. You want to use the cans to mark the corners of the square. And the aim of the game is to roll the socks and make them stop inside the square. So for this, you don't want to do it too fast. As you can see here, when I do it too fast, it goes outside the square and I don't get a point. But for the second roll, I do because I controlled my roll and I did it a little slower. For my third one, I controlled it as well and it landed inside. If you're versing someone, make sure to use different colored socks so you can keep track of who's winning. In this case, one team is using white socks and the other team is using black and white socks. So for this game, the black team wins because they've got three socks in the square and the white team only has two. Another way you can play is by getting a small toy or different colored socks and put it in the middle of the square. And we're going to call that the jack. And the aim of the game now is to roll your socks and whoever gets their sock closest to the jack wins. So in this game, the black team wins because they have the sock that's closest to the jack. For more advanced players, you can use a point system to make the game more interesting. You can earn points for each round, and whoever has the most points after all the rounds wins. When all players finish rolling all their socks, we have a look at whose socks are closest to the jack. For this example, the black team is closest to the jack, and they get two points because the two black socks are closer than any of the white socks. For this next example, the white team is the closest, and they get three points because all white socks are closer than any of the black socks. So that was Sock Balls, and I hope you guys give it a go at home. If you do, send me some videos and photos. Challenge an adult while you're at it. See if you can beat them. And that's all from me. Email is down over here, and I'll finish off with a little game for those Pokemon fans. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu!